With late school buses in Hillsborough County, and there's new reporting at this hour about a potential solution. Heather Lee leading us off. Dozens of parents are worried the damage has been done to their kids' grades. In the back of the bus, it says riding a bus is a privilege. And I don't think it's a privilege to be late to class every day. For the first time since school started, all buses heading to Alonzo High School were on time. Patrick Miller wouldn't know because today he chose to hitch a ride with his friend to guarantee he'd be on time. I need to catch up every single time I'm there and to spend my time more wisely than everyone else. And I always feel behind. Friday, after we talked to parents about their concerns, the school's assistant principal sent out a letter blaming the bus tardiness on a bus driver shortage. The district says they have enough drivers for each route, but if one calls off, getting a sub is difficult. Today, five drivers were out sick. They say the biggest issue getting students to class on time is traffic. Last week, they had to make a new procedure where cars only go in that way that entrance and the buses go that way because five buses were late. They're also making sure elementary kids are off the bus by 710 so they can start heading towards the high schoolers. They plan on monitoring the routes by GPS and folks from the district safety group will be at bus stops as well. In West Chase, Heather Lee, ABC Action News.